Okay, so uh, once again, this is Euro Sea Sucks sitting with the very lovely Kathy. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, the, the basic question everybody asks at the beginning of an interview Who are you? Obviously, Kathy, and what do you do? I'm Kathy Westluck, and I play the voices of Spike, the mayor, and Coco Pamel, and Flitter, and other little background ca characters that we some of us don't know and um, it's been great to be on the show for the seasons I've been on it so far and we are blown away to find that it's just gone on and on and on, on, and on. so I'm thrilled to be here it's great fantastic mm -hmm. yeah I, I was really happy because I, uh, after hearing Coco Pamela I'm like wait a minute I know that voice it's very <clears throat> distinctive like, uh, at least in my opinion mm -hmm. uh, your voice always I'm like I'm able to like pick out all, of, all the puns like there was a delivery like message mayor in uh, the one where it's harsh when he comes to the Crystal Empire and it's like oh Princess Cadence uh, I have uh, two messages and it's like ah that's Cassie <laughs> Uh, wait a sec, wait a sec. <laughs> well, if I start doing this voice, you won't be able to pick me out so nope. much, would you? I'll get it, because it sounds like Spike. <laughs> wait a sec, is Spike in there too? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you got uh, me. <laughs> so obviously that's duh, who you are, who everyone knows. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like I said earlier, pre-interview, uh, we're an OC review show, and we love to talk about your OC that you have. Uh, I have right here... <clears throat> A little zoomed-in version of your OC that was uh, on my yes. show for the BronyCon promo. Right, right. Yeah, and it's cute. I absolutely love it. Now, is that like the most accurate version? You feel? <laughs> I think so. I think so. She looks like me. <laughs> I am cross-eyed at times, and <laughs> especially when I'm overworked. But uh, no, I love it. I think it's fantastic. It's great. I like the blue eyes too. It's going with my outfit today. So she's great. What? Oh, did you have any say in the creation process? I think you just none. none. Really, none. Oh. of the OC, you mean? Of the uh, yeah. No, not at all. Actually, it was a surprise. Yeah. So, but I, I like it. There was also <laughs> another representation in the uh, large like VIP poster that they were selling at BronyCon, where they kind of uh, dressed uh, like big giant purple dragon as you. And I was like, I was kind of happy to see that you have a better. Uh, yeah, I I think I remember that one too. It was a purple, and it sort of, she sort of had a blonde wig, or she yeah. had a wig, whatever. Yeah, I, I I think I like this one. Yeah, I mean I like them all because it's so creative, nice. right? But uh, yeah, that that probably is a bit closer to me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, except for my purple days, you know. If <laughs> we all have. A, we all have purple days. We all have like a color, like a blue color. Yeah. Especially Spike, he's got purple days like all the time, right? Yeah. And green days. Everything's got coordinated. Like, He's mostly green. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if there was one thing that <clears throat> if there was one thing that you could improve upon or possibly change about it, what would you? Um, that's a good question. Um, she looks about my weight, <laughs> so that's that's pretty good. Um, I I honestly don't know if there's much that I would change because she looks. She's naked, though. <laughs> she might have a little bit of clothing on, but no, I'm just kidding. Um, I, I really, I mean, I'm a real nature girl, and I like to hang down, you know, in the forest and by the beach, and I'm uh, kind of a bit of a zen, a zen puppy, sort of, in a sense. So um, I don't know if she's a little cross-eyed, but uh, <laughs> it's okay. No, I mean, I love it. I mean, I, I really don't know what else you, you could do with her. Um, I, I don't see any cutie marks, so you, I could throw a cutie mark on there probably. I huh? was trying to find out like what kind of cutie mark it was, but... Uh... It, you no, know, I don't know. Um, you know, people are asking me what my cutie mark would be, but it might be like a like a, a, a tree or, um, I said yesterday, a, a chocolate bar, a ping pong ball, or a beach. <laughs> so. I actually got to talk to you, uh, ask you a little bit about hobbies at and I said, oh, I happen to love ping pong. And then you were like, oh, I totally love oh, ping pong. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Well, actually, I do love photography, too. Yeah. And um, I used to do a little bit of professional photography not too much uh, for some travel stuff but I also just love it so and I'm the kind of person that just doesn't get too involved with the technology I like to use natural lighting and natural content and I like it to be quite organic and real for what it is so you know but I'm also quite blown away by some of the apps that we have out there now too like yeah so they're really really cool because the hours that we would have to spend like years ago to do that like now it's just like boom boom we're done you're like whoa so it kind of blows our brains a bit because we don't have to work at it so hard but that's one of my hobbies is photography too i really love it very cool very yeah cool. uh do you guys have any questions other than this uh um so what's it like to voice like 
the only male character of the main cast. It is great because because he's just so different, right? So the other thing too is it's hard for me sometimes to know, not hard for me, but it's it's always um, refreshing and fresh every time I do Spike because the directors have the storyboards in front of them. So they can actually see what the pictures are like from frame to frame to frame. But myself as Spike, I have an idea of what I think it's going to be like. And sometimes it matches exactly and sometimes we go in a, in a different direction. But I can't see, as any of the characters can't see, the um, storyboards. And so sometimes if I want to take Spike kind of like in a snit or something, they're like, no, 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 just make him naive. Or if I play him like really like, whoa, is that right? And they're like, whoa, come on, is that right? Or whoa, is that right? So you kind of don't, he changes so much because he's a little boy and he's playful and he's got his different moves. That's It's always creative to know, oh, that's going in that direction. So unlike maybe the other ponies who are pretty solid in who they are, and then it's the more the situation rather than the switching of their own personality. So that's a difference for me for Spike. And he's just the boy. So he gets away with murder, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I like that. Right. Yeah. Way cool, way cool. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm being told that we need to wrap up now. Oh. But, uh, the, okay. One quick question. Yeah. Who is your favorite pony? I'm, oh, well, you see, I've always said Fluttershy. Yeah. But I am starting to really go towards Pinky. I really am, because I've got that little intellectual thing going on too, right? I love the smartness and the quickness of her, and the fact that she just blurts out stuff that everybody's really thinking or doesn't know they're thinking, right? Yeah. And her pony in her Pinky sense is like awesome. Nice. I like that right, too. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. So uh, once again, this is Euro City Sucks. Uh, talking to the lovely Kathy Westlock, and I got to say, you. Kathy, Euro City does not suck. <laughs> Thank you.